Yeah, what attracted me to this to this to this role was that it was dramatic and it was a father and um, uh, I just don't get a chance to play it that much that much and and the the project on the whole attracted me because there were just great people involved and anytime you can work with great people regardless of the script or the subject matter or the the genre uh, I do it um, so uh, there just wasn't a lot of a lot of negatives with this thing. You, as an actor, you hope that there is a, a plot line, uh, some scenes, some sequences, some dialogue that allow you to go to places that hopefully you don't go to in your real life. Uh, it's one of the great things about being an actor. You can you can be an astronaut, or you can explore what it. Uh, it's not a great thing to to do, but you can explore what it might feel like for some parents to go through something horrible happening to their, their children. I mean, if you're interested in, if you're empathetic to humans, um, it just allows you to, I, I think, just participate a little bit more in, in um, dealing with mankind instead of just kind of watching it on TV and going, oh, those poor people. Uh, it's kind of a nice human exercise to spend the day pretending to be somebody at the bedside of your hurt kid. Again, it's not super enjoyable. It's probably more fun to do a comedic scene, but it's also just, I like, I, I participate as a, as a human as much as I can, you know. Spending so much time in the fake world and the glitz of Hollywood, it's nice to also just kind of feel what people outside of sort of a privileged surroundings have to deal with sometimes. I think what they're going for with the title with Disconnect is that there is a, a potential problem with all of these devices that allow us to connect with one another that it in fact um, is, can have the opposite effect. It can keep us all very disconnected. You know, you and I, if there was a problem with the camera and we had a two or three minute break, I would probably go into my pocket and check my email, um, and you might do the same. And instead of before then, you and I would be forced to talk to each other a little bit more, and who wants to do that? No, uh, it's there, it, it creates a, a, a disconnect from, uh, from, from people that it might not be that healthy. Although I'm connecting with the people on my email at a, at a, at a, at a very at a, at a rapid pace, they're getting quick responses, so that's good. You lose, they win. It lives under my bed. Can I can I say more? No. <laughs> um, it uh, the one electronic gadget I couldn't live without is my iPhone. It does so many incredible things. It's going to be a huge hit. Are you familiar? It is. Uh, it is a phone. It is a web device. It is a texting device. It is uh, a camera. I mean, I can go on. This thing is amazing. I am, yes, I am addicted to uh, electronic devices, a thousand percent. I, but I, I, I don't know how you can't be. I'm also addicted to television. I, I just, I, if an if an alien came down to our planet, and this might not be a good example because they probably have better toys, but and you explain to this person what that lit box does, that you could get a live picture from something happening on the other side of the planet, right, right now, they'd say, oh my God, that's amazing. Why would you ever turn that off? What? And the same thing with the phone, uh, with the iPhone. I, why wouldn't I be? You have to be responsible with these things, but uh, I, I, I love them. It's incredible. Well, Henry brings a docu documentarian uh, aesthetic and sensibility to the film. Uh, he hired uh, Ken Sang, his longtime uh, director of photography, and uh, they've just got a, a, a very, um, uh, you know, a palette that makes it very easy to go inside the screen instead of sitting in your theater seat and sort of watching something. Uh, they they just know how to do that and. Uh, Henry with his with his music and um, you know production design and all those things just create a very raw, real, um, visceral kind of experience, and um, it's it's very easy to to get drawn into that environment and and, and feel it 360. Uh, sometimes, yeah, um, 
yeah, usually I I probably say something smart ass. Um, but um, uh, it wasn't overly serious and you know, there wasn't a bunch of obnoxious actor crap. It was it was a great set. Would I go so far as to go over to another parent's house and confront him about what I think his son may have done to my son? Of course, yeah. Um, I don't know if I'd pick such a fight with, with a Frank Grillo, because uh, I'm not a dumb guy and both eyes work real good on me. But, um, you know, I'm just smarter than the character I play in this movie. You know, and, and, I, and I can run faster. I can't, I can't see how it would, I think it's doing the opposite, isn't it? Making the world a bigger, better place and, and I, we have an ability to connect with the other sides of the world like that now. I mean, I think if the, if, if the, internet, if the internet went away, it could be not the end of the world, but it'd be half a world again. I think we've got uh, double the world now with it.